Okay, this is the bed. Okay, this is the bed after the treatment in the oven uh, that relaxed uh, um, the weddings and, um, and the, 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 the sunblast and the milling uh, and the milling process that uh, leveled this top part of the, the top of the bed. I have to thank my cousin that uh, helped me in uh, milling the, the part. These two gaps will be filled with uh, a mixture of epoxy and sand, quartz sand, to help uh, damp vibrations when the lathe will be in use. Uh, well, this is the uh, finished bed, filled with uh, um, epoxy quartz sand and uh, a surface made flat uh, with a milling machine. Here, here, and here there is a uh, door. Here there's a height. Here there's a height. Here and there. Test. Uh, let's test this surface with uh, the other two. Before I mentioned, I tested uh, against this one. This has control surface, and these two to match this one. And now. Try to match this one. A bit too much tie. Perhaps too much. There's a little bit of height here. Alright, this match almost everywhere. Well, this technique of uh, matching together uh, three surfaces uh, was invented uh, uh, about uh, two centuries ago by Joseph Whitworth and uh, it is really time-consuming and tedious. You know, it, it is far better to bring the, the steel to a shop, let them uh, mill, uh, grind uh, and pay them hundred bucks maybe <laughs> and have the the parts uh, uh, ready uh, ready to 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 go but um, nevertheless i wanted to try this technique because uh it it is intriguing because um, usually when you uh, want to have a given precision you need a machine that is almost of the same or more precision but in this case th this is not the case here you can achieve a high precision flatness and uh, I, I've measured uh, one of these and um, uh, it is within uh, a hundredth of, of millimeter uh, and um, and uh, you can reach this uh, um, this flatness, this precision, 
out of nothing, literally, because you just need uh, three uh, rough, plain, uh, rough, uh, flat surfaces and uh, just a scraper, a stone, maybe with the help of a little bit uh, of, uh, of, uh, of some paper and a die, nothing more. Uh, it is really low tech and uh, and that is intriguing because uh, if you think uh, how we reach the precision we have today without a machine that is so precise and that is the answer uh, this is I think this is some sort of I think uh, 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 some sort of cornerstone in the uh, history history of mankind because um, this enabled to make uh, precision instrumentation precision tools and machines uh, without this without a flat a precision flat surface you can't uh, you simply can't uh, produce machines that are uh, uh, with high precision and uh, and that is uh, and that is uh, a simple low tech technique um, that uh, that uh, allow you to reach this uh, this uh, achievement. Um, I would maybe I will explain the, the how it works um, later in the video or maybe in another video. Um, but the point is. Reaching this out of nothing is awesome, really, it's awesome, and I'm really satisfied to have tried this myself. And, uh, and now, uh, on the top of the bed, the ways preparing for a hole to fast the 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 ways on the on the top of the of the bed. Here we go, the bed uh, has been bored uh, to install the plate that will hold the headstock and, uh, and the first way that is bolted on the bed and the next part is to insert here uh, a series of pins that will locate the way uh, so that it would not move uh, under even under load and uh, the next part is to make the bores on the other side to insert the second way that will be placed at a fixed distance with a spacer uh, in relation to the first uh, way In the next video I will do the headstock. Since I don't upload regularly, if you like, please consider to subscribe and click the bell icon, otherwise you will not be notified when I will upload the next video. Thanks for watching, see you next time, bye!